What up, everybody? What up? It's time to come get some live. That's right, everybody. What is going on? Well, you know what's going on. So psh, don't even, don't even, don't even start with me. But we're not about that right now. Right now, we got a special guest on the show, Rob Willis. Willie, Willie, boy, Willie, Willie, boy. That's right, guys. We have a special guest, a master of the arts. And I do mean, guys, when I show his artwork, you better mic drop and listen to what he has to say with his pencils, his pens, all of his artwork, guys. We are so excited to have him on the show. We thank him for his time. He's a busy man. He's, he's that good. He's that good. So we thank him very much. All right, guys, as you know, Skits launches in two days. Boom, drop tomorrow is like the creme, de la creme, and I do mean de la creme, of legends. So you don't want to miss out on what we have in store for you. Guys, if you miss out, you just missed out. I mean, I just can't. I just can't. I mean, I can graffiti my way. I can't, you know, spray paint my way. I can't loop my way. But I will let you know, if you miss out tomorrow, you just missed out. But guys, make sure that you check us out uh, on Twitter at Skits Comic, myself at Kershina J, right there. You can see the name. Uh, or at Come Get Some 2, that's come underscore get underscore some underscore two. You know where I be. Guys, we are launching June 4th on Indiegogo, and we are going to be talking to one of the most successful uh, campaigns on Indiegogo, Shinobi Sasquatch. That's right. Try saying that five times. Shinobi Sasquatch. Um, and we are going to be enjoying it today. Guys, let's drop that skits video. You know how we do. Sometimes it plays, sometimes it doesn't, but let's pray to the YouTube overlords that they allow this to play. So here we go, guys. We're going to drop it in. Boom. Ooh. And let's see what we can do when we play that skits for you. Uh, there we go. That's right, guys. We are coming right at you. We're going to be coming at you with, boom, Rob Willis. What's up, Rob? Hey, what's up, Christina? <laughs> uh, it's it's so I, funny. Should I call you Black Star or what? No, it, it's all good. It's all good. It's both okay. one and the same. Uh, Karshina's good, and you all said right, it beautifully. Right. You said it beautifully. Right. Uh, I right. love it because I have so much energy, and then everybody's like, Hey. <laughs> nah, you you have a ton of energy. I love it. I love it. I was watching uh I was watching one of your streams earlier just to get a uh, feel for your personality, see who I was talking to cuz I don't get a, I don't get a lot of opportunities to get on YouTube. And I was like, "Holy cow, I wish I had her energy." Oh my god. <laughs> You're like, "Sit down so now." So much more done. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, right? Awesome. And it's all free. It's all yeah. free. Uh, I am repping right. my Super Mario <laughs> shirt, guys. So just let you know I'm repping that. Uh, oh, look, we got the red shirts going on, the red coats. I like it. I like it. I, I, I usually wear black. I wore my red shirt for this show. I just figured I'd switch it up a little bit. We usually we usually wear goth black over here too, so it's all good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what is going on, Robbie Rob? What's what what is going on? Uh, how are you doing today? I always want to ask um, my guests prepare them for the storm that is come get some. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, tired of being in the house so much. Uh, I'd like to get back out to the gym. Uh, other than that, um, my life's pretty much about the same as it always is. Um, okay, in the house drawing, uh, working, uh, juggling. That's all. <laughs> Staying busy. 
Yeah. Staying busy is all that creatives can do. And you know what? It's one of those things for creatives, regardless of whatever field. Uh, as some of you may know, I've been uh, in the entertainment industry in Hollywood uh, for a long time uh, and been blessed uh, with some successes here and there. You can IMDb yeah. me. Yes, drop it. Um, and it's one of those things that's where now in this current situation that we're in, you, you can't sit still. I mean, all my energy is the same. Mm. I mean, whether I was on set or offset, but it's like now it's like this big ball that's like, that just has to move, that just has to like oh, be yeah. shown to everybody. Um, is it the same way as yeah. far as artists sitting down drawing? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I when I sit down and draw, I just like to, um, I just like to, put it all out there it and believe it or not sitting at the desk all day drawing um you do you do use a lot of energy it, it takes yeah. a lot out of you believe it or not even though you're not getting up it's not really healthy it's more like um you know there's a difference between sweating from moving a lot and then sweating from stress <laughs> you know what i mean it's like <laughs> that like you sit there it's it's more mental energy but you're still you're still burned out at the end of the day just the same Right. Uh, I, I think I sent up yeah. a gift either to you or to somebody else. And it's got that little kid. She's like, she's just drawing. She's just drawing with yeah. like the pencil and the crayon. So I'm like, do artists yeah. do that too? Like, I'm just drawing right now. <laughs> uh, yes, kind of. Sometimes. Use, I mean, it's kind of how it is when it starts off. It, at the beginning of whatever you're doing, whether it's a, a page, for, uh, a, you know, a spread or something like that. At the beginning, you get to do a lot of scribbling and playing, and yeah, I'm drawing. What do I want to do? It's really fun. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm experimenting here. And once you figure out what's going on that page, then it gets a little more technical. And then you start having to uh, get a little less <laughs> Slow it down. and more serious. <laughs> yeah, you're like, all right, now I got to make this look like something. Yeah, so. You're like, break it down now. Break it down now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All now, the are you listening? Beginning. Are you listening to any music while you draw, or are you like the silent type? Like, um, it depends. When I pencil, I listen to music. I'll either listen to um, I'll either listen to hip hop or I'll listen to maybe some old classic rock when I when I draw. Uh, and when I ink, it's usually either dead quiet or I've got like maybe some kind of classical music or white noise in the background. Kind of kind of helps me focus a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, was that something that you've always done or something you had to? acclimate yourself to like growing up because I myself like and it's it's very weird it's just me I have to have like my gym and the holograms in the background tv show I got or, or you know something in the background something that I can hear uh, I'll have some musics yeah. here and there but I have to be distracted by noise of an actual show or an actual something in the background because it, I don't know it makes me work faster for some reason it makes me just go faster I'm fit I'm figuring out I'm kind of the opposite uh, I like okay. I like the noise. I like the music, but I'm finding out I get less done when uh, <laughs> when I've got things going on around me. Like some people are, you know, they put on loud music and get mm -hmm. at it, and they and they get in there. I'm kind of the opposite. It's like the more that's going on, um, the more my attention seems to get pulled away. So got uh, it. I'm finding, like I said, especially when I ink, because it's you got to be careful. You got to really focus when you're inking. Uh, I like it a little more quiet, so um, it's just how my it's just how my brain works. I don't know <laughs> that that's okay. Uh, what's going on in the and, chat? We're wait, waiting for some people to come on in. Skits is in the house. Skits is always about playing me, playing yeah, I'm, music. <laughs> I'm gonna re I'm gonna retweet the uh, link and see if see if that brings anybody else in. I don't know how many people in the chat right now you know it's very phone, fickle be because it shows it's very fickle because it shows like a, a a number but then like after the show the number is like bigger than what it is and so it's kind of like Always. a youtube yeah. uh, you know i don't know you know they, they do it play with a the minute world. to catch up yeah i it noticed does. that when you go when you're even scrolling on youtube and you'll see a show and it'll say so mm -hmm. many views and then when mm -hmm. you actually click on the show it's always way more views uh, it's always way more what it says yeah but yeah, I thank you very much that. for that. We thank you. Uh, you know, they're just, like I said, this is the YouTube overlords and it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things that, um, when you say you were listening to, like who, who's on your playlist right now? Um, 
Well, right if now. If I surmise, I'm, is it like a killer mic on your playlist? Is it a? <laughs> um, depends. It depends. Uh, right now, I got some old, um, some old. What am I listening to right now? Let me check it out. Uh, right now, I love um, to hear. Mm -hmm. Phil Dre is on right now, but it's because I got I got it set to uh, a channel that's playing some like '90s uh, hip hop classics. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, that I do know what you mean. Yeah. Trust is coming playing. to get you. Trust, yeah. Yeah. trust. <laughs> well, that was my that was my era. That's when I grew up. That's when I that's when I kind of fell in love with hip hop was in the '90s. So uh, when okay. I hear this, it takes me back to a, a different time in my life when it wasn't all about responsibilities and paying bills. Right. You know, it's it's nice. So it was just it was just hip hop parade. Oh, yeah. hey. I think, oh, I, think the first, yes. I think the first hip hop song I fell in love with was like, um, don't laugh at me, but I think it was like Rex and Effects. Uh, that oh, zoom, yeah. zoom, zoom, zoom. That was the first. All I want to do song. was a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Yeah. I mean, I, I listened to hip hop before that, but everything like kind of before that era was like Will Smith and, and, and like that. You know what I mean? So it had a nice bounce to it. But when I started hearing the, the 90s hip hop, I was like, Oh, I love this. This is the yeah. And well, those I mean, are classics. Was, was yeah, they are classics. I love them. I love the classics. And then my parents. And I think uh, we have a little. Listen. I think we have a delay. I think we have a delay. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Me. Okay, it could be me. I, I get terrible reception out here sometimes. Okay, so music like. Um, you know, that's why I'll bounce between classic rock and hip hop because, you know, my my mom, uncle and aunt and everybody, they would they would listen to like classics from the 70s, 60s, things like that. Uh, um, all the old like uh, Rolling Stones and uh, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. So Some... though that takes me back to that same time. So I like to travel back in exactly. time with my music to when I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You got some free birds in there. You got some Rolling Stones. You got some, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leonard Skinner. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> trust me. We we on the same age level. Trust. Trust. I think I know what you okay. what you're dealing with. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty guess, old. Though. I'm pretty old. Uh, you know, black don't crack. So I'm older as well. So. <laughs> oh no, kidding. Okay. Well, yeah. I, you look young. You look young. I would I would have put you maybe early. 20s, I would say. Ooh, wait, wait, hold on. Now with the glasses off. Oops, early, I would say early <laughs> 20. I put you at about 22. Well, how old? How old? <laughs> I know you don't. Don't you don't have to divulge your age, but I mean, I would. I I thought we were. Um, I thought I was talking to a youngin. Oh, child, please. <laughs> no, but thank you very much. This is how yeah. this is how I get the roles on TV because they're like, yes. <laughs> right. You look like you still can play high school. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's good. Or so early college. Actress. You you act. Yes. Oh, yes, I do act. Uh ever since the doctor slapped me on the butt, I've been my mouth is not shut. <laughs> since. No way. Uh yeah, I need to start doing more research and paying attention. So what have you what have you acted in? Is there anything I I'd, um I could um, find? Yeah. Uh I mean, let's drop some live free or die hard. Let's what? drop some everybody hates Chris. What? Uh Bernie Mac show. Oh my Akilah god. Nabi, 24. So you, you know, I'm just dropping just little small names. <laughs> I'm, I'm clueless, man. Holy cow. Why see I need to <laughs> I really do. I need to start doing research before I. Before <laughs> I feel stupid now. I didn't know you were. A celebrity. No, you don't. No, please trust. Please, uh, <laughs> I do get invited to those parties though. But no, <laughs> no. Uh, no, I've just been very blessed. I mean, I went to school for theater. I mean, I was on Broadway, um, on and off uh, Broadway. I did a tour. Uh, I modeled for Mattel, so I have my own Barbie doll. <laughs> um, yes, nice. I do have a Barbie doll. <laughs> yes. Nice. Um, that's right. That's right. Um, and I mean, I just been blessed when I've been working on the East Coast all the way to um, LA. And it's just been one of those rides where 
the industry is already hard enough and everyone knows it. Um, I've just been in a position where I've been in the right places at the right time, like they always say, or I've just asserted myself to the point where it's like, when your agent sends you out, they're looking for, you know, such and such and such. But what sets me apart, it's like, hmm, I know I do horseback riding, parkour, jujitsu, karate. I speak six languages. So in other words, they're like, what? You that girl? I'm like, I'm that girl. Because you have to set yourself apart in Hollywood. You just you just truly do. You have to. Um, you have to have. You can't just act. You have to have some. You got to be able to sing and act. And like it's they they always want more. You know, they always want more crazy. tap dance. You know, I can. That explains your energy. That makes sense. Go ahead. Now. OK. <laughs> okay. Uh, and plus, I mean, when you're on set for 12 hours, 14 hours a day, you ain't get time to be sleeping or you ain't got time to be like lulling, you know, in the doldrums. You have to be on. You have to be on point because you can be called at any time. Uh, whether you only got one line, you still got to be good. Whether you, you did five lines, a paragraph, whether you die on scene, you know, ah, whatever, <laughs> you still got to be prepared. Well, trust me, on my 24th scene, I died. I was like, Keeper, you didn't save me. I was, I was about to like, ask if you ever died. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. I, I, uh, you got to die in a show. That's that's cool. It is. And on my on my Twitter that you saw, uh, my pinned tweet is, I'm the black girl who doesn't die in a horror film. Because you know that meme, black people always die in horror films first. Yeah. So I did a yeah. show with uh, Frankie Muniz from uh, Malcolm in the Middle, and it's called uh, The Black String. And that's out now. You can uh, go find that. And uh, I, I was like, yeah, I didn't die in a horror film. Oh, I'm coming the to black, the sequel. The Black String? The, the black, black string, thing. yep. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna look it up for sure. I always like yeah, look it up. Finding, yeah. Uh, new horror movies, anyway. Then yes, I can say, hey, yes. I, I just talked to her. I like to tell my <laughs> kids stuff die. like that, so they. I like to tell my kids things like that, so they think I'm important. I'm like, you see her? <laughs> I, I was just talking to her, so now I get to do that after this. <laughs> You're like, I know that girl. I know her from afar. Yeah. I know her from afar. Yeah, <laughs> And then I don't want receipts, and I show them the YouTube. I'll be like, see, that's me talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, cool beans. Well, let's go ahead and let's talk about some of your art. First of all, when I was saying masterclass, guys, I mean, seriously, masterclass. Let's get into some of your background. I mean, I know you may have been on other shows, and you talk about, you know, the process and stuff. But tell us, tell our viewers, uh, what is it really like for that process to go through it if someone throws you an idea or do you say, hey, I got this something in my head, you know, that you get like a script or do you just say, hey, this is my artwork, work around me. How do you uh, work it, with that? It, all, it goes all of those ways sometimes. It depends. <laughs> you got some people who are like, okay, you're, you're good at what you do. This is the idea and take off, do your thing. Um, and I get mm -hmm. a lot of that. But then there are some people who are very strict about what they want on that page. I see. And that's, that's when it becomes work because you don't have, uh, you know, I mean, you got to make their idea specifically look good, which is cool. It's still art, but you're not, you're not getting the freedom to, to really do what you want to do on that page. But, it, you know, <laughs> you, still, you still do your job. You do what you do. But uh, when, it's, when it's somebody saying, hey – this is my character. Uh, just do what you do. That's that's fun because then I get yeah. to really experiment. And um, yeah, and it seems like I get picked up uh, for a lot of covers. Like people want me to do their covers a lot. I don't really understand <laughs> it. I mean, I do have people that have contacted me about doing books, and I got to tell mm -hmm. them no, pretty much because I'm, I'm working on. <laughs> uh, I'm still working on Shinobi. I got another book coming after that. I get a few. Other little things on the side that I can't talk about right now, uh, but I usually okay. will take on, okay. as long as long as um, they'll give me enough time to where I'm not pressured to jump right into it because right now I'm pretty backed up. Uh, if if they'll give me enough time, I don't like to tell anybody no. Uh, if if they want me to do their cover, I love to lend my services to them. So, uh, but at the moment, um, I'm kind of shut down unless you're willing to wait about five or six months. For, for your work, which nobody's so really it's real. 
yeah. Well, nobody, right. Nobody so wants it's real. To do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's real. Uh, because someone's now here, here, here's the capitalist question. Would you drop someone if the amount of money is right? Goddamn right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, here's, here's the thing. Yeah, I, I have to. I mean, you got to understand here. Um, this is all about uh, doing what I love and really giving. I, I, I love showing off my work and I love the fact that people like my work, you know, um, and I. Uh, you know, that's part of it. And then the other part <laughs> is. I have to be able to justify doing this for a living uh, by the amount of income that I make. Because if, if I can't take care of my family, then right. I can't do this. My family right. comes first. I, I have to be able to feed and take care of my kids. You know, and, it, and I'm not being greedy when in that <laughs> sense. I'm just thinking about I'm a father. You know, I have to think about this stuff. Right. Uh, it's a different. It's a it's different, different ballpark. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be different if I was, uh, you know, just a bachelor without any children. And, you know, I had all this free time to, and didn't have any responsibilities. Then I, then it would be a lot different. But it, that's not the case. So, right? You, you'll be uh, Christopher John says I invested in Sasquatch. Rob knows yes. what's up, Christopher yes, John. <laughs> Chris is my boy. Chris is Chris that is a good dude and a talented artist himself. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, we got X in the show. What's up? He's saying hello. Uh, then up? we got uh, Skit says Dredge. He's all yes. about it. Yeah, all about coming. it. Dwayne's a pain. Dwayne's a pain. What's I up, like Dwayne? that. <laughs> Always hey, move going, forward. Man? Never backwards. That's right. All, the, all uh, these are great people. I've talked to all of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for coming to the chat. So as you know, if Rob was handed a pile of Mario coins, <laughs> a pile of Mario coins, he would cha ding ready to go uh, and do his thing. But for right now, he is booked up. He's got some stuff in the works, uh, like that black flag. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Dan Frega. What is going think, on? And yes, it's Frega kids, yeah. not Frega, but Frega, it's, yeah. thank you. Um, <laughs> Dan's one of those guys that said, man, just do what you do, you know? So I, I got to do nice. what I do. And I think it, I think it worked out for the best. Yeah. That nice. was fun. That's, that's the funnest one I've done definitely recently. Uh, okay. I, I got to really go crazy on that one. So yeah. yeah Dan was, uh, well, let's Dan was see. Good. <laughs> Dan was good. Well, let's go mm -hmm. ahead and see if I can pull up that cover so people can see what I am talking about. Because I mean, it's it is a beauty to behold. Now, for that process there, even though he said do what you gotta do, did you start off with just okay? I got these old sketches of what he needed. I got you know, I, I just want to improve upon them, or this was like a whole nother level. I had to. Uh, I I changed a little bit here and there, um, but I had to really study his characters because I wasn't familiar with their whole the, their whole outfits. You know, they they got a lot of stuff going on, um, and you can mm -hmm. see I stripped uh, the main sniper. I stripped him down a little bit. I, he doesn't have his sleeveless with all the bullets across his chest and stuff. I took his shirt off. I showed off some uh, because I knew there was going to be a lot of that with Gorilla, and I knew that mm -hmm. the, um, that. Um, Rascal was pretty much fully suited up. So I was like, you know what? I want to show off a little bit of anatomy in here too. Give everybody a little something different to look at rather than just a bunch of gadgets. I wanted to show off some muscles too. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so uh, mm -hmm. I tried to, try to give everybody a little bit of everything on this one. And he did. Actually, and I told him what I wanted good. to do. Yeah. I told him what I wanted to do at first. And he did actually say, hey, can you do this too? So he did throw in a little, cause it was just going to be gorilla and sniper. And he was like, nah, you got to mm -hmm. throw a rascal in there too. So I did. <laughs> that was the only, that was okay. the only guidance I really got from Dan. That's awesome. Well, let me go ahead and share. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to go share my screen because I want people to, I mean, truly, truly look at this because I mean, it's, I mean, this and the sheer size of it. I mean, Dan put up, you know, his video that he did for like the biggest black flag art that he posted up. Shout out to you, Dan. 
And this, I thought, whoa, were you guys working together? What was going on? Like, you know what I mean? I was like, I was floored. Mine, you know what I mean? Mine's much smaller. Mine's only on 11 by 17. His is on a, a whole, like, what it looked like. Uh, it looked like a store window or something, right? What did he do? What did he do that? Mm -hmm. he yeah, it was like a storefront, and fast. I and yeah. I couldn't believe it. Uh, guys, are you seeing this? Can you see it, Rob? This was yeah, your you, scan pencils. of pencils. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, the just are, for the, just the, the scan. Somewhere too. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go ahead and grab those inks. I just didn't want to share everything off of here. I just want to go straight up through. Um, no, no, yeah. no, no. I mean, guys, if I'm scrolling through, it means you should be scrolling through because I mean, this work is yeah. just, it's bananas. Yeah. <laughs> it really is bananas. Yeah. I wish I could do a screen share here, but I'm on my, I'm actually on a tablet and I don't even have, uh, if I, I, all my, all my uh, artwork saved to a thumb drive and I can't even connect it to this to, to even pull it up. So unfortunately, that's okay. Unable there you go. It. There it is. Yeah. No, there it is right there. Uh, it says, my black flag contribution. This might be the most fun I've had on a single drawing thus far. Please black this campaign. Link will be in the comments. So please, guys, go to those link in those comments. Uh, and I mean, it's looking like this is just, I, I, seriously. Uh, and the clouds on the to, side. I mean. I can't wait to see it colored. I'm uh, I'm kind of scared to see it color. Like I am. Like, are you seeing this? I am scared to see this color because it looks good just how it is. Well, Dan was talking about putting the pencils in the book as just a, a black and white pencil uh, fold out because mm -hmm. you know, some people that like uh, they love pencils. I love pencils, uh, so he's he's saying he's going to do that as a as a fold out poster, and then this I believe once it's colored. It's going to be a variant cover to uh, maybe the Black Flag 2.0 that comes out once he hits, uh, I think, 150. If he hasn't hit it already, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I think he's getting close. If he hasn't hit it already, he's getting really close. Uh, yeah. We had him on the show, and it was funny because we uh, did a oh. little rap battle, and he was so excited. Oh, he was man. like, oh, look at you. And I was like, that's right. I did like a whole like intro for him, and I did like the out. He was on Skits's, uh, Skits's Fun House, and then he loved that. He was just like, what's going on? You guys got like all this music, and because he's a musical guy too, and we really appreciated that as well. It's, yeah. Yeah, I was I was a big me. I used to I used to rap too back uh, uh, about fifteen years ago. Before the responsibility ago. days. <laughs> well, yeah, I I used to rap. My brother was really big into it. My little brother. Um, okay. He used to always tell me to come okay. into the studio because I was really good. I just didn't. Um, I was a knucklehead. I didn't I didn't want to devote myself to anything back then. And uh, he used to always get me to come into the studio and we'd record like all day. We'd get all fucked up and record, you know? And, uh, <laughs> and then my brother, my brother died and that's when I quit. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, and that's, sorry yeah, that's to hear that. Well, blessings to you and that memory. Blessings to you and that memory, so. Yeah, I miss him. He was a good dude, man. That was my best friend. Aww. Uh, Shadowhawk says, dude, that looks amazing. Thanks, Shadowhawk, Thank you. so much. You're getting that love. Um, and of course, Michael Sigenthaler says, that's amazing work. It's amazing. I love these Thank amazing you. words. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, I use it a it lot. It's awesome. an easy word to go to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to see more, I you think can so. Follow I think me. so. <clears throat> you can follow me on Twitter uh, or just check my page. I mean, you don't have to to follow me you can just i think my page is open you can just check it out i don't know I'm no sure please do uh and it's at who is rob willis uh that is the page to follow uh we're gonna do it oh 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 this just in hold on this just in i think we've got an extra person that wants to say hello to you uh all right, all right. my love my rock it is skits what's going on skits Woo! Up, look man? at him, man. 
son <laughs> in the house, man. Skits is in the house. We are oh, like God, month Skits. three, four of quarantine. I mean, we are rolling in this thing. We are just <laughs> doing it. I got to tell you, man, Skits is coming. We are two days from launch. I mean, it is going to blow people's mind. I can't believe it. It, it is just it is just something that just bubbling over and we had so much stuff to launch and to tell people and I wasn't quite sure and we we are almost there we got one more big announcement tomorrow so come on over and check that out it's gonna be a huge announcement bam 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 but for right now right now I'm in the house with Rob Willis what's going on where do you guys get all this energy man <laughs> holy cow I, that's that's, Dude, man, you got to bring it. Though. I'm going to go I, for a well, jog I mean, when I'm done talking to you guys. There you go. There you go. Well, here's the thing. I mean, we're about to launch our campaign. We got to make sure that everyone's excited. We, If we ain't excited, why would anyone else be excited? Man, right? we got to pimp this. Well, they, they definitely should be. I saw the cover, and I saw the artist you guys got on, on the cover. And Patrick, uh, ever since the first thing I saw of his, it blew me away. He's an amazing, amazing artist with with those yes. inks, man. Oh my God, he he works magic on that page. On that page, he yeah. did, and we're going to actually have him on the show uh, next Monday. So June eighth, we're going to have Patrick live in the studio as well. Yep. yep. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. So if you want to come in, if you can take some time to give him a shout out and say what up, yo, yep. uh, he would yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Also, Patrick, uh, for for the cover he did for us, that's actually a gouache painting he did for us, and and that's I really what that. I saw. Yeah, I saw his post, and uh, I've never seen him do anything in color until that piece. I, I've never seen any work of his that's got that he's colored. So that's that's really cool. Well, I, actually, it's a black and white gouache piece that he oh, colored. Okay. He had colored digitally. It was by Lee, yeah. uh, a guy named Lee. I yeah. uh, did that. So oh, shout out okay, to you, okay. Lee. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, but the package that's itself what he does, is though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I that's mean, that's what, he, what he, he does. Those washes. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's how. Yeah. That's his style. He don't do like cross hatching and stuff. He goes in with different, um, <laughs> yeah. different washes and really, really brings that piece to life. Yeah, he does. Yeah. This, but but his interior pages, it's all inks, you know. I, I actually yeah, own yeah. a bunch of his work, and you know, I've been uh, buying his work for like eight years or something like that. When I first saw him, I was yeah. like, "This guy is top," and it was like, "I want to be buying this type of art. This stuff is really, really good." So, I mean, it, it, for I'm me, sure. go ahead. No, I was gonna say I'm only used to seeing his uh, his headshots that he does because that's all he really posts. I did see some of his interior work for um, uh, 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 the mask. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that was really good. Yeah, yeah. that was a good piece. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> yeah he's, he's actually yeah. been a, he's a long term fan of the mass. That's something that we actually talked about uh, when we when we had him on Skype. And uh, it's something that he was really excited about. You know, it's like bringing back stuff from his childhood memories, you know, just like, oh, this is this is the best. Man. And we found out that Patrick and Michael went to school. Uh, the same school, not at the same time, yeah. but they go to the same school and they knew the same amount of people. So, you know, how you can be like, you know, a generation up or a generation down, you know, mm -hmm. like four years old or whatever. Yeah. That's what happened because he was like, did you know? He was like, Michael was like, dude, I had him as my, t he was my friend. Then he became your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. That's really cool. Yeah, that's yep, awesome, yep. man. Yeah, and that was at SCAD, so yeah. That was a good choice to get him on that cover. I'm, yeah, I'm well, looking. She's got me curious to hear about your uh, whatever you guys are announcing tomorrow. I guess. I, or, for I, me, yeah. for me personally, it was like the best person we could possibly get who's still living. You know what I mean? So, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm really interested. To so find just have to stay tuned. <clears throat> are you guys? You uh, everyone's got to stay tuned. You guys announcing it on your stream tomorrow, or is it going to be like a, a social media announcement, or what? Like, is it going to be social media? Twitter? And uh, 
Yeah, we're going to announce it on Twitter, but I'm also going to do a stream tomorrow to just kind of give people an update as to what's going on, you know, right before the, you know, the day that it launches, let everyone know what's, you know, just, just a little heads up, that sort of thing. And I'll probably talk about it then too, but we'll announce it about nine in the morning. So nope, maybe. When, are you, uh -oh. when are you launching again? The fourth? The fourth. Yes. Everybody, Skip's coming launches June 4th. I'll make sure I'm one of your first backers. Thank you so much, man. That, you. you have no idea how much that means to us, man. That is huge. I mean, because it's, we were on oh, it looks uh, like a good project. Oh, thanks. I mean, we were on uh, Captain F Head's uh, show the other day, and he one of his questions he asked is like, "Who's your favorite artist in, in CG?" And I was like, I what sat there I for a second. I was like, Oh. I was trying to think of someone, and then she was like, Rob Lewis. I was like, oh, yeah, Rob Lewis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, was I like, did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got everybody. the receipts. Thank you. I dropped those Thank receipts. You. Yes. Well, and that was even before you said yes to come on the show. I was like, Rob Lewis? He was like, all right, all right. And yeah. he was like, duh. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like a no-brainer <laughs> for me. So, man. I, I know That's the amount of work you put into stuff. Let's just put it that way. Well, hearing that, that's what that really makes it really worth it to me when i hear that there's a few people that think i'm that that, I, that they put me up up there on their on their list of favorites that's it's mind-blowing when anybody says that i really appreciate that thank you yeah and, it, and it's not just smoke i mean when we started this uh campaign uh last year we were recently married and so we're doing this and we're doing this campaign and, you know, we're trying to get all the ducks in a row and, you know, we're getting interested in people and going on their shows and, you know, getting out there to all the communities out there to say, Hey, you know, uh, Michael is talented. I'm the pitch woman. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, yo, Billy Mays, if you need, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, whatever. <laughs> and every time your name kept popping up on our Twitter feed and I, I was like, who's this guy? And besides your picture was all like a model picture was all like, Oh, like the, the picture on the side. Yeah. I was like, who is this guy? And I was like, who is this guy? He is talented. And he was like, oh, this is Rob Willis. And I was like, how he be your friend and not my friend? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember who took that picture, but they sent it to me. Uh, and I was like, wow, I'm going to use this. Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I like that picture. Yeah, look, it's really a flattering picture. So. I used it. Uh, it. It was like the side pose. It was all like. Yeah, it was like a little profile. I think there was some weird lighting going on in it. That, uh, <laughs> mood lighting. Really made my feature. Yeah, some mood lighting going on. Made my eyes look darker. And I was like, I like this. <laughs> if you don't love yourself, who else will, right? You got to love yourself. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you is, uh, did you in school or did you go to uh, a secondary or, or college or university for art or was it just a, a God-given talent that you just perfected later on? No I, no, I didn't go to any, I didn't, haven't done any uh, actually art schooling. I think I failed okay. art um, <laughs> in high school. Uh, pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I failed most of my classes in high school. Mm -hmm. Um uh, because uh, either I just didn't go, or <laughs> when I did go, or when I did go, I didn't want to do what was on the agenda. So I just wanted right. to go in there, and I would do what I draw whatever <clears throat> the hell I wanted to. And when they say something, I'd be like, "Yo, in this art class, like, I'm drawing. Like, <laughs> leave me alone. I don't want to draw. I don't want to draw your basket of fruit. You know, I want to draw what I want to draw." <laughs> Well, I, w I was pretty much the same way. I had a teacher in sixth grade. She she put me down and was like, hey, <clears throat> you need to draw this. You need to see what you're made of here. And I was just like, OK, so I did it. But she was like, well, what do you feel? I was like, I was like, I like it, but I don't want to draw it. And it was the same thing. It was like a still life on a table, <laughs> you know, like a boot or something like that, you know. And uh, she was like, she was like, what do you want to draw? I was like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. She's like, do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, when you look back now, though, now I realize they knew what they were talking about. Like uh, yep. when they're teaching you how to master, you know, light sources on a on a on the reflection off of an apple. Yep. Uh, you don't think about that then, but now I'm like, man, all that stuff applies to what mm -hmm. I'm doing now in some way, shape, or form. 
Yep. I was like, I should have paid attention, you know. But when you're a kid, <laughs> you think you know everything, and that nobody yep. else knows what the hell they're talking about. And uh, and if you got a short attention span like me, you, <laughs> you're not going to take the time to pay attention anyway. So we're going to give it a chance. So, uh, yeah, I wish I would have paid a little more attention then. A buddy of mine – it's funny. A buddy of mine – uh, was really good at drawing comics in uh, high school. Uh, and I, I was absolutely positive this dude was going to go on to be a professional comic book illustrator because he was as good as the pros in like ninth, 10th grade. Like he was amazing. Uh, and then, you know, I lost touch with him. And then a couple years back, I was like, I wonder what the hell he's doing now. And I looked him up and he actually got into doing shit like that like painting sculpting mm -hmm. let he dropped the comic books which I, I i don't know how he did that that was like his back then that was like his dream but now he's like sculpting um really good too really good his name is vincent or sebastian vincent mortarana okay look him up. he's got a studio he's got a studio <clears throat> i think in baltimore and okay. yeah, he's, he's really good man the dude does some wild stuff um if you get a chance, check him out. We surely Sweet. will. Yeah, now, man. what are the, some of the things that when you finally did pick up uh, your pencils, like what were your favorite pencils? Was it just like starting off with your number two since you didn't go to class, but you like start tapping on and start sketching? Or yeah, did you just, you know, what, what did you do for your I pencil work? Yeah, that's all I did was pencil work. And I'm, I'm going to tell you the first thing I ever inked, First thing I ever, I mean, I played around with like uh, micron pins when I was younger a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I did a lot of, um, I like to draw comic books then, but I did a lot of street art too. A lot of graffiti, uh, little tag mm -hmm. characters, and you yeah. know, people throwing up tag. Like that's what I loved doing at that age. Uh, and so I would kind of bounce back and forth. But mainly what I did was pencils and I didn't know anything about special art pencils uh i just used whatever pencil i had sometimes i didn't have a pencil sometimes i had to go borrow a pencil from a neighbor or something like that okay. you know to draw so um yeah but i didn't know what i was doing yeah i just like to draw and look at and look at and look at you now how you like me now that's another 80s or 90s hip-hop right there <laughs> yeah i wish i wish i would have um had my head on straight when I was younger. I wish I'd have had my head on straight 20 years ago um, instead of uh, just kicking it. Just kicking it, exactly. I, sure, I, I got you. I, I got you. Be, because I would have picked up, I would have learned a lot. I've actually, most of what I've learned about comic books, about inking techniques, about what utensils to use, uh, whether it's pencils, uh, different pens, different inks, different quills, different. Uh, erasers, anything. Um, I've learned basically everything about that in the last uh, maybe like two years. Okay. So wow. I'm just I'm just learning, but I'm learning pretty quick. So I'm thinking, man, if I would have done this back then, I would either be really, really, really ahead of the game right now, or I would have gotten to the point where all this bored the shit out of me, and I would have moved on to something else by now. I don't know. It Here's the thing. You just got to remember that it happened when it was supposed to happen, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and now exactly. you're here doing it and that's all that matters, man. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. I mean, I mean same, same with me. You know, I've been, I could have probably started this 20 years ago, you know, when I got out of college or 20 something years ago when I got out of college, <laughs> but you know, I, I was, I, I couldn't sit down for two minutes. You know, I, I was just busy trying to do things. And plus I had to live. So I had to make money, you know? So I, I was just like, I got to yeah. go make money. I got to do what I got to do. And now I'm sitting here going, I know the time is right and I'm going to do it now. So let's do it. So, man, I think, I think me and you are <clears throat> exactly on the same page there. Yep. That 95 South. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think oh, we're actually, exactly on the same page. <clears throat> nice. So so I, I got a question yeah. for you. This is you don't have to answer, but has any of the two the two big companies reached out to you yet? I mean, seriously. No. Do no. they do that? I mean, do they? I don't know. I don't no, think well, they, they do. do they used to. They used to have people out there constantly 
scouring the internet looking for things. It's like an acting agent search. Yeah, yeah. It's like they they um, used to constantly be doing that, but I don't think, you know. I well, I think I screwed that up from the start, probably. <laughs> nah. Uh, even no, nah, I definitely I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't I didn't exactly know I was doing that, but I'm pretty sure I did because um you know, apparently there's this, uh, you know, Shinobi Sasquatch came out as a, a Comicsgate project. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't know what Comicsgate was. Uh, didn't had no <clears> idea what Comicsgate was. I, I knew nothing about the comic industry, uh, the battles within the comic industry. I didn't know about any of this stuff. And <clears throat> Cal wrote Shinobi Sasquatch. And he's like, hey, you know, uh, when we came to the agreement, when he introduced himself and we figured out, uh, we wanted to work together on this project. Um, I was working on another project at the time and decided to decided to put that on hold for a little bit because um, I just I wasn't ready to uh, completely go through with the book I was working on. And then Cal hit me up. He'd already been working on the script. I was like, OK, this would be a lot easier. Uh, um, it would be a lot easier for me just drawing someone else's script right now instead of writing it drawing it and doing all this other stuff that I've never done before as far as uh, funding it through Indiegogo. Um, so this kind of uh, Shinobi Sasquatch is a big learning experience for me. Mm. And um, I got uh, so Cal when he wanted to when he decided how he wanted to fund the book, whether it was through Kickstarter or Indiegogo, he said, I think Indiegogo would be best. And, um, you know, I've been, you know, do you know what Comicsgate is? I was like, no. I, I don't know what Comicsgate is. What it? Is. And he told me, and he, I was like, "Look, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you to run the campaign. Do mm -hmm. what you want to do, and um, if you want to <clears> announce <throat> the book is whatever you want to announce it. I mean, I, I don't care. Uh, let's just see how we do. It was a, it was a big experiment, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, I think this is our best chance. There's a lot of good, uh, you know, great comic book supporters in this group." Um, and we, we, should, we should do good if, as long as the project looks good. So I was like, yeah, let's do it then. And then since then, I've learned a lot more about all the politics involved in comics and all the crazy, the craziness on both <laughs> sides. Um, and uh, I think I'm somewhere in the middle. But I think because Shinobi Sasquatch uh, came out as a comic skate book, uh, I don't think they're going to uh, really be looking at me. And I don't mind because I don't want, I don't even want to work for them. Uh, I don't know if I would. I don't think, I don't know if I would uh, even take a job if they offered it to me because I've got so many other ideas and so many other books that I'm writing now and I'm working mm -hmm. on that I, I would much rather work on my own projects than um, number one, because of the freedom, uh, the creative freedom involved. Right. Uh, the freedom. Yep. Yeah. Uh, number two, um, I kind of want to build my own, I want to build my own world, you know, I want to build Your my own, own niche. characters. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, there's nothing that my projects, uh, aren't anything like Marvel's really putting out right now. Uh, as far as the mood, um, they're, they're more adult. The ones that I'm going to be doing are more, not necessarily adult, but older. Like they're not, you know how uh, they're not like Iron Man or or you know Captain America or anything like that. They've right. got a more they're they're a little darker, <clears throat> a little more uh, thought out than just uh, you know amazing superheroes flying around saving everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, sure. You're building your own world basically, yeah. and your own world is a little bit more older in the fact that they have like lives that portray something a little bit more real instead of something that's like a, a, an everyday man yeah. is what I call it. You know, you can look at a superhero yeah. from a child's eyes as well as an adult eyes. But if you look at something yeah. like something else, that's just an adult eyes, you're like, yep, I, I, I can understand what's going on with that. Mature. Yeah. I mean, I explore in with my characters, I explore into like, um, you know, supernatural powers and things like that. Of course there is mm -hmm. a lot of fantasy, uh, in it, but there's always like a root base that where you could almost be like, is this possible? You know what I mean? Right. Like it, it's far fetched, but you, you, if your gears start turning enough, you're like, man, this, I, there's something to this. 
it's not just somebody got hit with like a radioactive blast and now they're superhuman and can do this or you know they were exposed to something that no it's more um it's different with dredge you'll you'll get you'll get to tap into to what what some of my future projects are going to be like and um i'll just leave it at that because i don't want to give too much away about that gotcha. and be, you don't have to yeah yeah it's gonna be really yeah. good all right good time johnny gentile uh says is there an estimate to when rob is going to put his own project drudge up on indiegogo Hmm. Yeah, it was gonna be it was gonna be in like October, but uh, I want to give I want to get a lot of it done because that's uh, that's something I've learned with Shinobi Sasquatch is I mean it's it's been kind of great because as as the campaign rolls on or as the page stays open while the book gets completed, uh, mm -hmm. we get more eyes on it and it is getting more funded over time slowly but still getting more funded. Uh, but I kind of want to just have a, a good bit of the book done before I even yep. uh, attempt to get it funded. If I can afford to get at least a quarter of it done, uh, at least the pencils and inks before I launch the campaign, that would be great. Uh, so, and I think I can do that. The book's not going to be as long as this. It's going to be about 45 pages. I'm not going for another 85 page book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it takes too long. I'm penciling and inking, and it's taking me too long to get through eighty some pages. Got uh, it. So I want to do, I want to do a forty five pages of, and uh, there's going to be multiple follow ups. But I want to keep putting books out, at least one every. I want to try and do it to where I'm putting out two books a year. Yeah, well, th launching that's, and yeah, I was fulfilling two forty five page, forty five fifty page books a year. So uh, nice. That's the goal. That's awesome because uh, what we doing for skits, um, we decided to play around with the journey um, instead of I, you know, our pitch is like, are you tired of getting you know three books with three variant covers, but it's the one same story? Well, we're mm -hmm. giving you you know three books, three covers, three stories that if you get all three, you will understand the one journey. Uh, I mean, you can oh, read one and see there. Yes. Each book yeah. you can read on its own, you know, as a complete story. But there's bits and pieces, uh, different panels, different pages mm -hmm. throughout all three books where it's like, oh, I'm getting a little bit extra here, a little bit extra there. You know, there, there's different stories going on here and there, but you can read each one as a complete. So, so it's actually really something that I want to do personally, because I, it, going back to like X-Men 1 that Jim Lee did, where it had all mm -hmm. those covers on, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I was always like, man, I don't want to buy all those covers, man. It's just the same book, you know, because back mm -hmm. then I didn't have a lot of money. But at the same time today, I'm like, well, I want to do a couple covers, but I don't want to do that. So I was like, I tell you what, this is what we're going to do. Skits is crazy. We're going to do something <laughs> crazy. Skits! And we're going to put like variant covers, variant stories. We got all sorts of variant stuff, you know, so that's exactly what we're doing with Skits. So basically you can get one cover and say, okay, that's a great book for skits. I can get a complete different cover and I go, oh, that's a great book. And then you go, wait, your page, your page 20 don't look like my page 20. And it's like, wait, what? But you all came to the same conclusion. So you are getting a different storyline, but all for the completed journey. And so we are trying to do the same thing. You know, we've been learning from, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly of, you know, what's good to do on campaigns, what not to do on campaigns. Um, and the thing is that we don't want to push out a book and then wait four or five years for the for, you know, book number two or whatever, because uh, Skits is part of six. So yeah. we also want to be pushing out books, you know, at least two, you know, if we can, three, if we push it, you know what I mean? Like every every year. Really two, good, yeah. two. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing coloring i'm doing everything and they're 60 pages yeah, each so wanna... we're, we're gonna try and get two <laughs> all right two yeah. but i'm the pitch woman so i can do pitching three <laughs> you don't want to hate you don't want to start hating your job no 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 no, no. Yeah. <laughs> so so um <clears throat> these three books are they coming out um like as different tier options or are they coming out in separate campaigns like one no here later on Here's how it's going to be. It's going to be like a regular campaign. You, you know, you got your book and then you got, you know, a uh, variant cover and story no, uh, B, variant cover and story C, 
or you can buy the complete package together. It's a real nice package, all three books wrapped in a skits band that's signed and numbered specifically for you. So you can get either single books or the whole completed package signed and numbered. So that's probably what most people are going to hopefully get on is that completed. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and get the all the all three of them because I want to see I want to see the whole story. And, yeah, and also, the fact that you get three covers from I mean the tomorrow okay. is just going to be the tomorrow. Uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, well, yeah. here's the thing though: you want to get on the mailing list. See, the mailing list is the same thing, but you get it for a discount. And for free, you're going to get, instead of getting a printed, signed, and numbered uh, skits band all the way wrapped around, it's actually going to be hand-drawn by me and signed and numbered, limited only to the mailing list. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That, so, uh, that's the one. So that's the benefit there? Yep, that's, that's the benefit so you, of being on the mailing list. Do you guys benefit from other people being on the mailing list, or is that just the, the customer just benefits? Well, it benefits us because we knew before we started the campaign actually how many people we had interested in, in buying skits. That's the big thing, because if you just right. go in it blind, you have no idea what's going to happen. But if you get so many people on the mailing list, at least, you know, you got so many people who are somewhat interested in buying the book. And the fact that when Michael puts out some of his artwork, like a lot of his concept art, people are like, oh, how do I get this? Or how do I get a piece of your concept art? Are you selling this? Well, the biggest benefit of all is that he's going to be drawing an actual, you know, on top of the skits band. So you actually get a piece of his artwork, you know, oh, for so free. I get some original. If I'm on the mailing list, I'll get some original art from you. Yeah, the, the skits band that gets wrapped around the three books is hand drawn. So... The imagery okay. on it I'll is hand drawn. That. I'll do that. I've never gotten on the mailing list for any of these campaigns that I've backed. I usually yeah. uh, just go I do it. it. I back it. Yeah, I just see it. I back it. But um, yeah, that's interesting. I'd like. I'd like that. I'll get on you guys' mailing list. So, well, well here's the thing. Like most people with their mailing list, they they either give you a discount, which is good, or they uh, give you like a baseball card, you know, or or something like that, a printed card, and I'm. That's just not my thing. I wanted to give people yeah. something that was really exciting and unique specifically for them. So that, that's why I was like, okay, maybe there's a, uh, 300 people on the mailing list. I'll have to do 300 little drawings on the skits band of skits or whatever I end up doing. That's fine. I can knock those out in you know, a few days and, and then bam, there you go. So everyone gets a, a nice drawing by me. Because in my opinion, with someone like you and someone like me, the big sell is the artwork. So I want to get that artwork in people's hands and give them an incentive to, to buy a little bit more pricier, but you're going to be getting artwork. Good. Okay. Yeah, you sold me. <laughs> <laughs> and with that sale, Skits is going to be out. I'm no, out. You can stay. No, you no, can't I'm stay. Out. I'm out. This is your show. I'm going to leave it back no, to... No, no, no. It's <laughs> our show. It's fine. You can totally stay. But yes, just one thing. Skits comic launches on June 4th on Indiegogo. Tomorrow, we're going to be dropping that last cover. Uh, we dropped the Sigenthala cover, the Patrick Reynolds cover, and then tomorrow, right. we're going to drop the big cover. Uh, <coughs> everyone is big. Trust. Trust. Everyone is big, but this one is legendary. Um, oh, yeah. So tomorrow yeah. you have to watch out for that. Uh, one of the things I want to do real quick, Rob, before we go, because I want to be cognizant of everybody's time, is I want to go through the Shinobi Sasquatch, if we may, um, and just say congratulations. 75, you know, is a yeah, pretty we, big, big number. Yep. It looks like we just broke it not too long ago, too. I don't, I, I, I think I looked at it yesterday and we were at 74 something something so i am hoping um, that people still i mean it's in demand yep. uh and let me let me just read it shinobi sasquatch book one a master ninja werewolf bigfoot must thwart an evil cult scheme to enslave the pacific northwest <laughs> oh, oh, i hope i did it justice I, <laughs> yeah, that's fine <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can give you the, or you know, it's it's all it's all it's all on how you choose yeah. it. <laughs> spooky, I see it spooky is, parts of the book, uh, guys. And if you just look at this, yeah. I mean, awesome, amazing. Let's do a, a slow scroll so people can see. I mean, come on, 
A shinobi Sasquatch. Who, who the freak thought of this? Honestly, it's awesome. You know? Yep. No, uh, Cal thought of it. He thought of it uh, first, uh, but it was really crazy. If you want some of the background, it yeah. was first. It wasn't Shinobi Sasquatch at first. It was a very, very, this, this story was supposed to be more funny and goofy. Okay. It was supposed to actually, and it, originally, when he first came up with the idea, he actually was doing some of the drawings for it, and it looked very cartoony, and uh -huh. uh, there was a lot of really goofy, kind of even a little corny jokes that are going on in there. And there still is a lot of goofy humor in this. Uh, it's not, I know it looks pretty rough because I'm drawing it, so there's a lot of uh, like <laughs> carnage and, 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 and seriousness in it, but it does have, it's actually, there's a lot of, uh, funny stuff that's going on throughout these crazy pages. Mm -hmm. Like if you were just looking at them, you're like, okay, what, what would the dialogue be? You might think it'd be more serious. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what the dialogue is on this page, but this is just the beginning. It's kind of like an introduction. But as it goes on, uh, Shinobi Sasquatch has um, he has a little bit of a humorous approach to things, like in his tone, uh, in his comments. Um, you know, he's not as serious as he looks and uh you know it's good it's got a lot of personality this book mm -hmm. uh and but when it started off it was just this goofy cartoon and he pitched <laughs> it to me and then i was like i like the idea but it was called uh man it was crazy it was called um ninja <laughs> bigfoot i think if i'm not mistaken i can't bigfoot ninja bigfoot ninja werewolf <laughs> warrior Doc, <laughs> doctor uh doctor demon Slayer. i can't remember it was like demons okay it had ninja it had werewolf <laughs> it had demon slayer it had doctor and it had bigfoot all five things were in the name it was supposed to be like a a kind of a, a play on the teenage mutant ninja turtles Gotcha. That was kind yeah. of his idea for the character. And uh, ooh, that was in the very beginning. And I started drawing some ideas out. And he was like, you know what? This is, uh, you know, your art's actually giving this thing a, a little bit of a different approach. Let's, let's, see, uh, let's see if we can find some different names. Um, <laughs> he's like, I might, I might write it a little bit differently too. Because he only had about five pages done when he, Got it. When he, when he sent, <clears throat> sent me something to read. And uh, he, he, he definitely changed up the, the tempo a little bit, changed up the dialogue. Uh, I think it got a little more serious. It got a, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a much better read as far as an actual interesting story goes, rather than just the jokey kind of book. You know what I mean? Well, well, you know, someone else who actually did the same type of thing, who had uh, comedy and also kind of serious looking art, you know, was Simon Beasley. I mean, he, yeah. he did that with Lobo and it worked great, uh, you yeah. know, so I, I don't think it. anyone will have a problem. I think well, it's I awesome. The, I love the comedy. I like dry humor, though. Uh, yes. So you're British. I, like, <laughs> I probably, I probably uh, would get along really good over there. <laughs> the dry witty um sometimes a little dark humor yeah, mm -hmm. that's 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 more my my speed awesome uh good time johnny and this is gonna be our last question before we go good time johnny g says is shinobi sasquatch rob's first published work if not what is I mean, pretty much i did an ash can i did a 10 page ash can for um rg rgbs mm -hmm. um retro graphic um, books, something. Uh, and it was like a little 10 page book on something that he plans on, I think continuing with. It's a story about, uh, it's loosely based on the, uh, the kind of, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's true. I think it's a true story. They're talking about how they found giants over in like Afghanistan, like how the military, some of the military came back from there claiming that they found bones Yep. of like existing giants that's that's what the that's what the story of this is based off of okay and uh it was it i did 10 pages and i think it's being displayed 
he went ahead. I didn't know what he was going to do with it right now. I think he put it in the CG Jumpstart book. So mm-hmm. if you want to see it, um, it's going to be in there. Okay. Okay. That cool, sounds man. something. That sounds something good. Uh, so thank you so much, Rob Willis. We're going to leave it at that because we've been having such a good time with you. We want to be cognizant of everyone's time. Uh, but it's been a pleasure. A thank pleasure, Cruz. Of course, uh, and yeah. we learned some really stuff, so it's it. good. Yeah, yeah, and you learned some stuff about me. I'm going I'm to hit you that I IMDb. <laughs> I learned a lot. I learned a lot about both of you guys. I like to be able to you know, know who I'm talking to on Twitter, too, so it's cool. Both of you guys are really nice. You're energetic people. Uh, oh, well, thank and, you. Um, if you ever want me to come back on, just let me know. I'd be happy to. And, well, and, we, and we will make sure we set a date because we know you're busy. So, yeah. you know, whatever time you can get yeah, will be awesome. Maybe I can awesome. get them on the Skits Fun House sometime. That'd oh, yeah, the awesome. Skits Fun House. Sure. Uh, Michael does one. Yeah. Uh, Dan was on there as well. And he <laughs> actually goes in depth a little bit more. Uh, my show is a little bit more fun. We talk about the art. We talk about the process. My, We're just having my fun. My show you know isn't I mean? fun. You're like, you're like, mine's more fun. You can go on news if you want. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, but uh, we're we're very excited to have you on, guys. Make sure that you go to Shinobi Sasquatch on Indiegogo. Still funding. It's in demand. So get it while you can, guys. Uh, we love that. Uh, we're also going to uh, be doing some stuff later on for skits. So make sure that you drop it with skits uh, on the other days. Uh, as well as guys, um, hello, we're gonna be launching in two days. Two days, Thursday, man. We are dropping it. We are locking it. We are in there, popping and locking it. Just making it all happen. It's all come down to this. We want you on board. Go over there and get ready for it. Get on the mailing list. That's where all the goodies are. I mean, real goodies. Real, real goodies. That's exactly what you want. You want discounts and goodies, freebies. That's exactly what you get on the mailing list. So get on over there on Indiegogo. Look for Skits. The Sun Book One. Skits. Skits is all you need, baby. It's like Tropic Thunder. Welcome to the goodie room. Oh, welcome to the goodie room, right? (laughs) Well, I look forward to... uh promoting you guys' book. Uh, it looks awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you we so really, really appreciate much. It. It's going to do great. All right, well, uh, it was really good talking with you guys. Thanks again for having me on. And, You're uh, very welcome. Uh, we are going to play the video, and then we're going to peace out. So here we go. Oh, 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 last thing is, hello, Rob. You got to throw those bows. Throw those bows. That's the thing for come get some. Live. <laughs> exactly. See, I already got you exercising. I got yeah. you doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you need to get yeah. out of that chair and exercise or exercise in the chair if you can, man. I need to. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We are going to play us out. So, guys, we thank you so very much. Uh, we appreciate everyone for stopping by in the chat. Uh, we love everyone. Uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. You feel the animals. <laughs> <laughs> And then we will play it out. know that B is gonna drop soon again we got a new video gonna be coming out as well tomorrow and tomorrow 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 new video drop and we're it's gonna be awesome thanks guys thanks to Rob Willis once again thanks everyone in the chat thanks to skits and peace out